today we are in Kichijoji, which is a neighborhood outside of Tokyo, supposedly one of the most desirable spots to live, given it's sort of outside the city, but not too far. But we're not here for that today. We are here to go to the Capybara Cafe. So we got a reservations a few hours. We're gonna get lunch first, but let's go check it out. We spent quite a bit of time in Tokyo, but it's a huge city, so we've never been to this neighborhood, and I'm super excited to explore a new area. And this one's supposed to be a little bit more local, a little more nature, and just a fun time. I know we're in Japan and you guys are gonna be like, oh, why aren't you getting Japanese food? But the Japanese make good other types of food too. So we're gonna try their take on pizza. This place called Garage 50 has a VW van that's converted into a pizza oven and it's supposed to be delicious. <laughs> mm, that's gonna make ordering interesting. What Google Translate coming in handy. <laughs> they have some interesting flavors like cold roll potato, salmon cream cheese, Gorgonzola maple. Hmm. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Uh-huh. And... Uh -huh. and... Wow. That was so fast. And look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Basil mascarpone. Mm. Salty, subdued. It's good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I did that. All right, and then we got our mushroom bacon. You can like that one, Ellen. It's salty. The mushroom really comes through. Mellow cheese. I also really like the crust here. I like this thin type of crust. That mushroom, whatever mushroom that is, really good on pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the mushroom that pops in your mouth and eat it. Mm -hmm. And it's not quite bacon, it's more like ham or something, but it's still really delicious. Oishi. We have about 50 minutes to our reservation. You want to poke around for a little bit? 15? 50. 55 zero. zero. Yeah. Yeah, let's go check out the shopping district. Sick. This is the most desirable neighborhood in all of Tokyo since the 1990s. Wow. I was thinking it looked pretty bougie, honestly. sorts of different animal cafes, but we did some research and not all animals necessarily enjoy it as much. So we decided to go with a really well-rated one that has animals that actually enjoy the attention and the affection from us. But the capybaras. Capybaras? They're going to be like giant guinea pigs. I'm so excited. I love guinea pigs. So. Hey, I realize it's a cat cafe too. Yeah, it's Cappy Neko. Cappy Neko, that makes oh, sense. That's a Cappy bar. <laughs> look at the feet on that thing. So weird. It's so weird looking. <laughs> they look like duck feet. I guess I never really paid attention to it. Never thought I'd get to pet a capybara. <laughs> What's it feel like, Brandy? Uh, coarse. <laughs> oh my god. 
Well, you just want the pets, <laughs> don't you, bud? He likes you. Yeah. All right. Bars are just chillers, aren't they? Yeah, I figured they'd be like giant guinea pigs and uh, more or less. More or less, it just <laughs> likes to hang out. <laughs> more interested in food than anything. <laughs> it's a nice touch. It is, it really is. Thanks for rolling me. <laughs> really get in there. Yeah, get in there. <laughs> and just like that, while the cats are asleep, it's time to leave. <laughs> they know it's closing time. Thank you. Arigato Thank you. Arigato. That's super cool. I never thought I'd get to pet a capybara. <laughs> That's literally what I was thinking. Never <laughs> in my life thought I'd pet a capybara, and I didn't realize their feet were so weird. Yeah, they have super weird feet, and they're super coarse, too. They're not soft at all. <laughs> yeah, they feel like you're petting like a... A Brillo pad. Yeah, something like that. Overall, it was pretty fun, though. And it was only 2,200 yen per person, which right now is... 15 bucks or something. Pretty fun. What are we going to do for the rest of the evening? Go walk around the park. All right, let's go... And get dinner. Oh, yes. Dinner and park, let's go. The highlight of the neighborhood is Inokashira Park, which features a large lake and also the Studio Ghibli Museum. I'm really excited to see the park. I know. We might have to come back when there's more fall colors. You can yeah. see the trees are just starting to turn. Wow, look at these Japanese maples. It's going to be insanely beautiful here when they all turn. Yeah, it is. Wow. And it looks like you can rent boats to paddle out on the lake. And they're shaped like swans, too. <laughs> no. <laughs> is that a spicy vending machine? Looks like it. <laughs> you will die if you eat <laughs> Yeah, I know. They're like ghost pepper. Yeah. Ooh, and it comes in a plastic container. I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little scary. Is it? <laughs> actually. Yeah, actually. Oh my god, that is so spicy. You want some water? So much. Like, why would they sell that in a vending machine where kids could get it? Why are you gonna do another oh, one? I'm gonna do three. You're sick. Because <coughs> I'm stupid. Those are really stupid, but they're tasty. They're not actually that spicy. I was just kind of hamming it up for the camera. <laughs> Did you fall for it? I fell for it. That's pretty good. I, I know, I'm a great actor. I know? I know. I, I could get an Oscar for this performance. Are they actually not that spicy? Yeah, they're not that spicy. Mm. <laughs> we got on me because Vietnam's not very far away, and there's actually a lot of Vietnamese people that have immigrated to Japan. So I'm hoping these are pretty delicious. We got a lemongrass yakiniku with avocado, and also a pork yakiniku. Together, they were about 1,400 yen and a very complicated ordering kiosk. Yeah, everything <laughs> is 100% Japanese, but we use the Translate app, and hopefully we got something good. So, they smell very daikon radish. <laughs> These are Japanese style. <laughs> I think this one is the original pork one. It smells terrible, but it's delicious. Oh man. <laughs> the lemongrass really comes through and overtakes the daikon. But You'll have to let me try it. Yeah, it's really good. Which one I'm is that? I'm behind that. Yeah, it's weird. It smells like daikon, but it doesn't taste like it. 
that was our time in Kichijoji. Super fun seeing the Capybara Cafe. We will have to go back and explore it more thoroughly when the fall colors change a little bit more. And sure. also when we go back to see the Ghibli Museum, which yeah. is a must for us. We have a bunch more in Japan to see too. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.